Hello there, this is Russ Buecher from Control My Icon, and in this video we're going to take a look at how you can embed metadata into your captured image. I'm currently hooked up to an Icon D800 and I'll just connect to it. And I'll go into Live View where we have just a sample object here. This is a small circuit board. And let's capture an image. Then we'll go back to the browser and take a look at it. So here's our image. Now over on the right hand side here you can see the metadata and you can resize this if you need. If you double click on it it'll hide. Double click to bring it back. And there's two parts to the metadata. The first part is the EXIF data and this data is populated by the camera body. Control My Nikon does not insert anything into the EXIF data. So we have the dimensions and the data is captured, even a shutter count here. And we also have the IPTC data. Now this information is populated by Control My Icon, and as you can see here, we haven't put anything in it yet. You can close these if you like, just by single clicking on the title, just to give yourself a bit more room. So let's see what we need to do to configure the metadata. You need to go up to the View menu and down to Metadata, and that brings up the Metadata tab. Now, these fields here correspond to these fields here in the Image Browser. So, if I were to type in a city, and maybe a credit, And I'll save this. Now that information is stored in the profile. So if I just flip to another profile, such as large, and go back to metadata, you'll see that it is not there. But if I go back and go to my product small profile, which, which I was on when I saved it, you'll see it right here. All right, so let's try capturing an image. And now you can see the image data has been populated with my metadata. Now to clear your metadata, you just click on the clear button. It says, are you sure? Yes. And then it asks, would you like to populate it with default metadata? I'll just say no for now. If you have a lot of profiles and you're changing the metadata often, some things here you probably do not want to change very often, such as the credit and maybe the copyright. So you can set those as default, so you don't have to type them in all the time. So to set the default metadata, you go to the Tools menu, Preferences, Metadata, and here's the defaults. Okay, so now these are my two defaults for copyright and credit. And if I go back to my metadata, if I clear, would you like to populate it with default? Yes. Okay, so that brings it in for you. So now you can just enter in any other information that you might want. Capture it. Now there's another way to embed data into your IPTC metadata, and that's by using batch shooting. And we'll have a separate tutorial video on how to do batch shooting, but it's up under workflows and under batch. And I'm just going to bring up some data. Basically how batch shooting works is you can import data into Control My Icon, such as a product list or a shoot list, of uh, information, and that might be a unique identifier, which we call a batch ID, and maybe a first name, a last name, a product identifier, whatever you like. And then we could take that information and embed it into the IPTC metadata or the file name or the folder name. Here I have activated batch ID 1, and it came back with this information, job, batch, I, batch data 1, Teresa, Ellis, full, and then this number here. So let's say I wanted to put this and this into my IPTC data. Well, you notice 
Teresa has BD1. This is what's called a token. Ellis, which is the last name, is BD2. So I'll go back to metadata, and let's say I wanted to embed these right here. And you need to put the at sign in front because they're tokens. And I'm going to save that profile. Okay, this time I'm going to take a shot here with the batch. And let's go find that image that we just captured. It's right here. So under doc title, where we put BD1 is Teresa. And under headline, where we put BD2 is Ellis, the last name. So you can really just pull in any kind of data you like and embed it in any of these fields. And the value of this is that it makes it archivable and searchable. Many image archiving tools, such as Lightroom and Adobe Bridge and many others, allow you to search for images using IPTC data. So you can go in there and you can search for a person's name and it will bring up the image. Control Man Icon also has a search function. All you need to do is right click in the folder area, select search, type in the search term, and then click on search. And I found that one image that had the information Teresa in one of the fields. And you can make that a partial search as well. So if you just wanted to search for R-E-S-A, it will find that. And there it is. And to clear your search, you just click clear. And then I'll hide the search. So that's it. That's how you set up metadata in Controlman Icon. Happy tethering.